Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're just going to put a very simple little contact form down and we're going to apply a bit of conditional logic to it. Now conditional logic is great if you've got a complex form and you want to ask specific questions and you want to have fields appear if people check certain boxes or, or ask certain questions. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder to let us build on the front end. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to put in one column, one row, and I'm going to put in a contact form. By default Divi comes with all these modules here as standard plus a, a load more if you've got WooCommerce installed. It really is a great theme. If you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So I'm going to put in a contact form and there it is. It's already put something in for us. Now that's just a basic contact form. I'm going to start adding a few more fields and add a little bit of conditional logic. Now this is a very simple example. You can get as complex as you want, but I'm not going to go too deep in it today. Okay, let's add a new field. And we'll say I am interested in. And let's think. As you can see, it's down here. I'm going to move it up there in a moment. I'm going to make these check boxes. So field options. I want to change that from input field to check boxes. And the first one, I'm going to say software. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to say hardware. Now I'm not going to make these required because some people might want to check both of those and they might be inquiring into both software and hardware so I'm going to turn the required off. And as you can see it's put those little check boxes in there which is fine. So let's save that and let's add another field. And I'm going to say well perhaps they've selected software so I'm going to add another field and I'm going to call it platform. Field options again. I want it to be check boxes again because I'm going to get them to ask some more questions here. Or you could you could have, have whatever you want here. You could have a text area and ask them a different question, whatever. I'm just going to use a check box. And we'll say um, PC. I bet you know what's coming next. Mac. And again, I'm not going to have this required. They might be asking about both so they can check either or. Now, I only want this to appear if they've actually selected software. So what I'm going to do now is go down to conditional logic. I'm going to enable it. And it's going to give us some options rules well i don't want the name because there's the name i don't want the email address or message i want this to appear only if they've selected software so if we click on where it says name there here it says i am interested in which is our title for our software hardware there i'm going to click on that and it equals software or hardware software is just what i want for that fantastic so this is only going to appear if they select the software by doing that. Let's save this and add one more field and hardware type. Again, what do I want? I'm going to use checkboxes again. Now, do we want networking or backup hardware? One more. I want to spell that right. Or storage, I guess. Now, this one, 
I only want to appear if they check the hardware box. Again, they might want networking and storage, so I'm going to turn the required off. They can check each box, but it doesn't matter if they don't check each box. Conditional logic, we're going to flip that to on. And a name, we're going to select I am interested in again. And this time, we're going to say hardware. So this will only appear if they select hardware up here. And you can go an awful lot de deeper into it. But that will do for the time being. I'm sure you get the idea. You can have fields and you can put in if it equals 10. You can have one. If it equals three, you can have another. Is bigger than, does not equal, is greater than. You can do all kind of math equations or um, empty boxes. If they don't check a box, you can have it do something else. Get some great things going with uh, conditional logic. So let's save what we've got here. I'm just going to save that field. And I'm going to put my message box at the bottom there, which is right here. And inside there where it says message, I'm just go in there and say We will send you details about your selection. Please add additional comments here. That'll do fine for me. Save that. Actually, before I save uh, the whole thing, uh, I'm presuming you all know how to do um, one of these forms anyway, without the conditional logic, just in case you don't. Here's where you put the title, put a select success message in there. Your message has been sent. What you want the submit button to say, you can put below. whatever it is and of course the most important one here is the email address which is where the form will get sent to so me at my email.com and you can add capture spam protection we've got that on so this is briefly it let's save it and see if it's actually going to work the way we want it to I'm sure it will let's hit the little save button there save our page changes once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. And this was in response to a question I got on one of my other videos, so I hope it answers your question. Okay, as you can see, they get to put in their name, their email address. I'm interested in software. If you click that, that little platform, PC and Mac will appear. Or if you're interested in hardware, hardware type networking and storage will appear. You can have both if you want to, if they're interested in everything. But that's a basic rundown of how conditional logic works. You can say, give it criteria of open this if they check this, open this if they enter this box. So I hope that's made some sense to you. It's pretty easy once you think about it. If you're making complex forms, you might want to get a notepad out and just map it out before you try and do it. But for simple stuff like that, it's really easy. So I hope that's answered your question. I hope you found that useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.